Hello everyone, I'm GT League Tishney, or Tishney, however you know me, and um, this is a tutorial for GT Academy 2011 for Europe, and uh, basically on how to do this, this track. Um, I'm basically in the top 10 at the moment, 7th at this present time, uh, with a 17.693, but I should hit 17.1 by the end quite easily. Uh, I was on for a sub 17 today which ended crazily bad but never mind uh, as uh, it's just said in the video I'll be talking about braking accelerating apex and speeds and the driving line uh, also just to tell you it won't guarantee you a sub 18 in this tutorial but obviously it'll help you improve times and obviously uh, get up that leaderboard um, yeah uh, basically um, I'll talk about each corner. The I'll start with the braking points, obviously. Um, acceleration points are mostly judgment, and obviously the feel of the car. But as you get to learn it, you'll see it, and uh, there are some acceleration points which you are visual and you can see. Um, yeah. So basically, obviously, you should have general understanding that if it was just a right right hand corner, you would be on the far left hand side of the track to straighten the track as much as possible. Um, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, the first breaking point, this first corner, uh, I'll say first breaking point, it's the only breaking point, is this sign here. It's just after this. Now, it's a third gear corner, and what you want to do is brake till about 85 miles an hour, and then let, let go of the uh, braking, and just let the car roll through the corner. You want to stay just off the white line, but maintaining a very inside line. Uh, as I said, it's third gear, and you want to be leaving the corner or accelerating at about 70 miles an hour. Uh, so let's have a look at this. And brake, brake. It was 87 miles an hour there. I'm still slightly on the brakes, but just just to control the slide that I've got. Uh, I know this wasn't a very good uh, to show this corner, but obviously it's my fastest lap, so I thought I'd uh, show it. Um, and I've dropped down. Obviously, if you drop down just below 70, it's still fine. You're just trying to judge the exit. Now, uh, as you can see, I've started accelerating now. You might get a bit of oversteer, so you have to try and control that. Uh, but this is mainly judgment. So here we go. Right, and now we're on the next corner. Uh, this is flat out, but the, the reason uh, I've stopped it here is for this bump here. You can. You can see it, the, the height difference. Uh, it makes you not be able to see the apex. And um, basically, if you're fully accelerating, which you should be, the car might oversteer. So you just have to be careful uh, about where the car is and the position on the track. Um, if it does start to oversteer as well, because this corner you will be changing gear on the corner uh, to 4, if it oversteers, it's going to be about 90 miles an hour when you're going to have to change gear. If it doesn't, obviously it'll be 93 miles an hour. Uh, but as you practice, you'll get used to the um, uh, the gear changes, and it'll just come second nature. Uh, that's also what I forgot to mention at the start of this. Uh, I'm using a pad. Uh, I've used both. On a wheel, I got 18.8, and then switched back to the pad because I need more experience in my wheel. Uh, so I just thought I'll uh, lob that one in. Right, so here we go. Uh, you'll see me flat out around this corner. And there's a gear change, and you want to use all the track. As you can see, I've got two wheels on and two wheels off. And you can be one wheel on and three wheels off. Obviously, that would be a slide, but that's still legal. Uh, you're legal all the way to your tyres are on the grass. So the white line's legal as well. Uh, so as you leave this corner, you're aiming now for this part of the track here. Now, it is a corner, but it's still flat out, and you want to stay left after it as well. Here we go. Right. I'll stop it here because we're coming to a breaking point. Alright, as you see, I'm on the left. Now, this is obviously for the double right hander. Now, this is a, uh, a 70 miles an hour corner to begin with, and then you will accelerate through the second half of the corner, uh, which you'll see in a minute. Uh, I think I run slightly wide again here, but if you run slightly wide here, it doesn't really matter. You lose a temp or two, but it's nothing major in comparison to uh, other corners. 
Now the breaking point is this little flag box here. Well, I think it's a flag box, whatever it is, black box, where somebody's probably going to stand for a, a normal race if it was a real track. It's just after that point. Now you're going to drop to about 80 miles an hour. I think it is, if I remember rightly. We'll just uh, play it and we'll just see. So that would break, and now we're going to drop to 80 miles an hour. Wow, yeah. And you're going to slide, and you want to hit this apex here. And then you want to stay on the inside throughout the corner. Now, as you pass this, you're going to start to accelerate like immediately. Uh, this split time, by the way, is a my best is a 26.9 doing this line. Um, but anyway, in the 27s, uh, especially for the people who are in the high 22 times or high 23 times or whatever, uh, any anything in the 27s is uh, going to be start to in, uh, improve your lap. So uh, as you see, I go a bit wide, <coughs> and I've got an accelerator here. Now you won't see me come off it. You might see me come down to half or three quarters, but you'll never see me come off it because uh, you want as much speed as possible. As it's a small straight, you can gain a few temps. Um, you'll also feel the car oversteer as you exit this corner, depending where you're on the track. The more inside you are, the less it'll oversteer. And um, basically, it does start to do that. Just let go of the, uh, the power let the car come back and then continue uh, driving. So as you'll see here, look, I'd, I'd slightly came off there and I'm continuing now. And you want to be in the middle of the track here, which I'm just to the left, but it's reasonable. Now uh, this is a very long left-hander. Uh, so basically what you want to do is you will be braking just as this exit curb ends. Oh, and uh, there we go, sorry about that. Um, so as you can see there, I'll just play it. There we go. This, this point here, just after this, you'll brake and then you'll just turn in. And you don't brake until you hit the speed, you just brake and let the car roll. So you brake till about 82 miles an hour, I think it is, it's around 80 miles an hour. And uh, the car will slide round. I won't won't I won't say slide, it rolls round. But the car might slide slightly. But you kind of want that. And you're aiming for 62 to 63 miles an hour. And then you'll start to accelerate, but only half accelerating. Uh, I'll explain why in a second because you will see it. So as you can see, I just let the car roll. I da I, you do you can dab the brakes and you can dab the accelerator depending on where you think. If you're too more on, too much on the inside, just dab, uh, dab your accelerator. Just start to come out a bit and so on. So as you can see here, there's this bump. Uh, apologies if I am talking too quick. Uh, I did this just before, but my mic was too quiet. Um, this bump here. Uh, it will cause you a lot of oversteer and uh, basically if you hit that full throttle your car will go flying the weight transfer in the car will just make it go off the track or slide really badly so half throttle and you generally can control it now I accelerate just before I get to this but I know what the car is going to do so I can judge it a lot better and obviously that saves you time and obviously gets you more speed so as you'll see here I've dropped down to 61 here and now you can see the, uh, the the crest of the hill. It's, you can also like acknowledge it by this little path here. And you kind of are aiming for that. You want two wheels on, on the grass. Now, as you see, there we go. Now, you, you will see in a second the car slightly oversteer. And you'll also see it on the, um, uh, on the full run, which is just going to come after this tutorial. Uh, basically... I will correct the oversteer really quickly just so it's not sliding on a continuing speed and basically head straight for the curb in front of me and then start turning right. So as you see, there, look, I'm, I, you saw the little wiggle, that's me judging where the, st uh, the oversteer is going to come. Now I've hit this curb and I am keep turning right and it's full throttle until this point coming up. When this right bit ends, as you get round here you'll notice it straightens out and then goes into a right hand corner. Uh, when it straightens, you brake and then you want to let the car roll in to the next apex. So look, I've let go and I've started braking because that, that part of the corner has ended. And now um, you'll notice in a second the barrier change colour on the right hand side. And this is your acceleration point. Uh, you'll notice all these corners have been third gear as well. You're in third gear for most of them. I think there's two or three corners you're in fourth, but that's about it. So uh, this is the third gear corner and you're going to drop two between 67 and 70 miles an hour for a good lap. Obviously, 
if you're still learning it you might drop less but the whole point is to try and uh, improve up to that point so you see me I'm just breaking I'm breaking the tab just so I can hit this apex here and uh, I'll just keep there right this is your acceleration point I've done it just before because I know where it is it's just mentally in my head and I can judge my speed better but this is the point you're aiming for this blue and white change into a grey uh, when you see that accelerate out and um, accelerate as full throttle as you can but try and control oversteer uh, just dab off the, fro uh, the throttle if needs be to control an oversteer but um, run as much power as you can out this corner and then use as much as the left inside of the track as possible but remembering the track still turning right uh, so you'll see that here uh, I don't actually oversteer here. I don't use all the track, but I'd recommend you do. Alright, so coming up to the, uh, as I would call it, the Coach Green Mark 2. Uh, obviously, Coach Green Mark 1 is at Laguna Seca. Um, you'll see in a second the entrance curb. Uh, this is your braking point, but you hardly brake. You just let the car roll through the first part. And uh, you're aiming for 77 miles an hour on the and uh, on the curb um, which is on the apex of the corner obviously so as you see I see that I've, I've already begun to brake or well, the, the power's already off so now I'm just dabbing it I'm just letting it so it's dropped to 76 now I'm about to accelerate onto the uh, next part of the quarter screw uh, now this is full throttle you full throttle over this and then it's quarter throttle when you're going down the hill uh, basically this is just so you keep in speed high, you're aiming for about 8 to 5 miles an hour. Uh, so as you see here, full throttle. <coughs> now I, kn I know where the apex is and you want two wheels on the grass, but as you learn, as you get to learn it, you'll understand it. Now um, if you're on the track and you try and turn down here, the car will oversteer and you'll go straight into the barrier on the right. Or to the left if you try and um, turn into the slide. So here what I'm trying to do is straighten the corkscrew as much as possible and reduce weight transfers from left to the right of the car and back and front so here I've straightened it I've now gone to quarter throttle because I know the car's going to pick up speed anyway going down the hill and I'm preparing for the next braking point which is all about judgement now I'm about to brake in less than a second and you want to remain at 63, 2 or 4 miles an hour depending where you are on the corner. Now a bit of oversteer on this corner is very nice, a bit like the NASCARs uh, who, which oversteer slightly but it gives them a bit more speed around the corners. So as you see I'll brake and I'll come down to about 62 miles an hour but I'm also letting the car roll around. Rather than brake to 62 and then accelerate I'm letting the car roll around just to maintain that speed. Oh, I did hit 62 just for a millisecond there but then I started to accelerate again now this is all about judgement again uh, the car will oversteer as you uh, exit this corner so you just have to be careful with controlling that try not to turn into it because the car will correct itself if you just let go and then put power on again um, and yes that's about it for that corner I think just remember you can use the grass I don't use it there but you can do um, this black box here um, for those that have watched previous tutorials will know um, I like time reference points as well as the split times. Uh, so here, if it's turned into a 1 minute 9 just as you pass it, you're on for a very good lap and obviously just stay focused and remain calm. Um, obviously you can judge your own times by the box, but generally I would say if you're on a 108 slash 109 early 1-9 as you pass here, you're on for a pretty good lap, pretty solid lap. 